The first setting we need to adjust is the frame rate. We need to keep it as low as possible. So if need be, be ready to sacrifice the ability to slow down your footage and post by shooting at a 24 frames per second frame rate. Yes, it sucks to lose the ability to produce slow-mos, but it's actually good for your creativity to work only in full speed once in a while. It forces you to find new ways to be creative without relying on speed ramping so much. Anyway, using the lowest frame rate available, in this case 24, allows us to let in the maximum amount of light into our camera. Even going from 30 to 24 frames per second can make a big difference in the end. And that's because of the second setting that we need to adjust, which is the shutter speed. Our shutter speed also needs to be at a minimum, but we can't go lower than double our frame rate. So by using a 24 frames per second frame rate instead of 30, at least we're able to use a 1 over 50 shutter speed instead of 1 over 60. 